everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how to draw a squirrel using stabilo carpatello pastel pencil and mangeo soft pastel i love the coloring medium that is pastel after coloring pencils and graphic pencil soft pastel medium is known for vibrant colors and easy to blend the pastel material is more like chalk so i bought this stabilo carpatello pencil it has 60 color pencil also in this box sharpener kneaded eraser and blending stumps also available okay let's see what are the materials i'm going to use for this drawing mechanical pencil combo eraser and kneaded eraser and 6p pencil paper stump white gel pen soft pastels white green gray light green grass green dark green salmon Pastel pencil, white, grey white, gold grey, ivory, golden archer light, maples yellow, orange, dark flesh tint, English red deep, leaf green, viridian matte, caroline red middle, lamp black. Okay, let's start drawing. This is Durban pastel paper and A4 size. For outline, I am using 6B pencil. With pastel pencil, we can make many layers of colors. So, I chose this many layer reference picture to draw. Okay, let's start coloring. For the pastel drawing, you have to draw from left to right and top to bottom. Then only we can avoid smudges when we resting the hand on the paper. I'm starting with the left side background with dark green, grass green and light green. Blend the soft pastels using your fingers. You can also use blending stumps. You can add how many layers you want in the background according to the reference. I start coloring the squirrel from the eyes. For outer line in the eyes, I am using dark brown. This is dark green. And some blue. The green and the blue colors are the reflection of the background. Now I am using black color to fill the eyes. Now use your white gel pen to give a highlight to the eye. The second eye is partially visible in this reference. I am using green color around the black color. Now I am using white gel pen for highlight. Next I am going to color the ear portion. Using orange, brown and black for the fur structure. Now 
This is yellow for the lighter shade portion. This is black. For the face, it's full of orange and black fur. First, I'm using orange for the base layer. In the top of the head, there is a white reflection. For that, I'm using white. Blend the base layer with stamp. Now use the black color for the nose. For the mouth line, I'm using brown. Around the nose, there is a lighter portion. For that, I'm using ivory color. Around the eyes also, I'm coloring with ivory. Now I'm using the black color for the fur on the face. Drawing some little visible fur using brown and black. In the neck portion, there is a lighter shade fur. For that, I am drawing brown outlines. For the neck and the hand, I am using orange for the base layer. This is yellow and some ivory. Now use the blending stump to blend the base layer. Using the ivory for the portion under the face and above the hands. Now I am using black and ivory for the chin portion. with grey color lines. To draw the outer lines of the hand, I am using black color. Now this is orange for the fur texture on the hands. for darker shades on the body. Now blend with paper stamp. Now draw orange lines. Now draw the black fur. Using light brown for some fur on head and ear. Now use some orange on the light brown. Use some white color for the side of the face. For the left and stomach portion, I am using ivory, grey and light brown. Using some white color for white fur. For the leg, I'm using ivory, orange, light brown. For the edges 
tips of the finger I am using red. Now I am giving some extra orange tone to the body. For the leg I am using brown. Under the legs I am using black to separate the fingers. Now I am using ivory to lighten the black. For the tail first I am using light brown. I am using ivory for the second layer. Now I am using black. This is orange. For edges of the ear I am using ivory. Now use black color to separate the body and the tail. Now draw some line in the stomach with light brown, grey and ivory. Now I am correcting the leg portion. Using dark brown for darker fur in the legs. Now I am using a white gel pen for nails. Now I am going to color the background. For the right side background, I am using dark green, grass green and salmon. Now I just blending with fingers. Now I am going to color the wooden portion. For that I am using ivory, grey and brown for the base layer. Using a green color pencil to show the background to the tail. Using white gel pen to draw some lines. For the second layer of the wooden portion, I am using brown, black and grey. Now correct all the features with reference. Now I just darken the background. And squirrel. I'm using white pastel for some highlight. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can tell me your suggestions about my drawing and also what types of drawing you want to learn. So comment in the comment section. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.